Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel today for a how to style Converse video. Probably one of the most iconic footwear pieces of all time. People have been wearing Converse for decades, young and old. There's many, many iterations out there. I'm not talking about just the actual Converse brand itself. The iconic Chuck Taylor design has been done time and time again by so many different brands and designers from the high-end likes of Dior to the likes of high street retailers like H&M. Everyone doing their own spin on the classic Chuck Taylor. So today I'm gonna to walk you through four different ways that I would style my converse if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button i make weekly videos here on youtube and i post nearly every single day outfits over on my instagram and i tweet the occasional funny tweet over on twitter as well so go follow me on those subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications if you like this video um and i don't have actual converse themselves i have platform converse from AS Clo. So I have the high top version, they have this kind of like additional piece of sole with a shark tooth um, detail, which I absolutely love. And then I have the exact same pair, but in the low top version as well. I will leave links to these two in the description box below because they're what I wear all the time. I much prefer shoes that are have a chunkier sole rather than the thin sole itself, but converse themselves do do a platform version of their own shoe that is available um, which I will leave links to in the description box below as well. We've also got the Runstar Hike iteration, um, which is similar to these as well. There's so many different types. I will leave to links to as many as I possibly can in the description box below. So speaking of Converse iterations, before I get into it, so I have my high top versions and I have my lows. I also have the oblique version from Dior, which are I've worn to death. I've worn these so much over the past two years, honestly. Um, they've changed colour because of how much I've worn them. They used to be white. It just goes to show that this style of shoe is such a good investment. And, if, and I feel like no matter what style you get, as long as you love it and it's versatile, in my opinion, black or white are a very good way to go in terms of shoes because they'll just go with way more outfits. Obviously, Converse to like a million and one different colours and options. I did at one point buy a limited edition pair of JW Anderson Converse that were glittery on both sides um, and I didn't wear them once so it just goes to show that you should stick to a more kind of versatile shoe that you can wear with a load of different things. So the first outfit is the casual option, the option that I wear the most. That is just a black pair of straight leg to wide leg denim jeans. Um, I wear this with my low tops with white socks because I like seeing the pop of the white sock. If you followed me for a while, you know that I wear plain white socks. They're from Uniqlo, by the way. I wear them with absolutely everything, unless the outfit calls for a black sock in which I wear a black sock. You can wear whatever color sock you want. To be honest, you can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you what I do. Um, so I wear black jeans with the low converse. For a more casual kind of vibe, I will probably just wear a sweatshirt over the top. If I'm heading outside, I'll probably throw on a beanie and a backpack. Um, I feel like this all together is just a really nice, cozy, comfy kind of fit if I'm hanging out with friends or if I'm just going to go run a couple of errands around town or whatever. It's a really kind of easy option just to throw on if you're just looking to get out of the house but still feel kind of put together in that sense. This is my kind of like casual go-to option. If I was wanting to dress this style up to go um, maybe for dinner or maybe to go for a drink with my friends. Maybe I would throw on a biker jacket over the top of this look to elevate it more out of the casual and into the more kind of like dressed up kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. Obviously nothing crazy, nothing groundbreaking. It is stylish, it is versatile, it is an all-rounded kind of outfit to suit many, many different occasions. So if it is a hot day, I'll be wearing shorts, obviously. Um, I don't really wear a lot of denim shorts anymore. I used to wear denim shorts a lot. There's nothing wrong with denim shorts. I don't know, I've just not like, gravitated towards them in the past year or so. Um, but So I tend to wear a more kind of formal, like dark tailored pair of shorts, usually oversized in a sense, but still they're not like ripped denim or plain denim or whatever. Um, and for this, with the shorts, I'll probably go for the low tops again, just cause I wanna show off my white socks again. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I just think the aesthetics of this is a lot more pleasing than if it was a high top with a pair of shorts. And then to match the colors in the black and white shoes with the black shorts, I'll balance it all off with a 
white-ish kind of shirt. This one is a full paisley print. I really, really love this piece. I love how the shoes coordinate with the shirt and the shorts as well. You can obviously take a little backpack or like a crossbody bag if you're going out somewhere. But I think this is a perfect summer option because let's face it, you don't want to be wearing loads of layers in the heat and the Converse are a perfect lightweight kind of summer's day option as well, which again is what makes them so versatile. Now to swing it the other way completely, I've gone for a full cream suit. Obviously that is a big step and I don't expect a lot of people to want to wear a full white cream suit. Um, but I do think Converse are a great option for a suit, especially in a more modern way of dressing. Every time I've gone, to any of my friends' weddings or a place where I've had to wear a suit, I've generally worn sneakers with them. In this case, the Dior Converse, obviously, but only because of the colorway. Like, the Dior Converse are more all white, so they go with this suit more. If I had like a plain pair of all white platform Converse, I would probably wear those as well. I think they're just a really, really fun way of modernizing suits. Obviously, my suit is um, super oversized and boxy. This one's actually from Cold Laundry, one of my favorite brands here in London. Um, this suit is like impeccable, like the cut of it is my favorite. I have a more like modern idea of suits and tailoring. I wouldn't wear the classic kind of fitted suit. That's kind of not my style at all, but obviously you do you. So yeah, I love the way the suit contrasts with the kind of sneaker on the bottom, but I think it's more effortless and I think it suits the suit, if you will. So that is my kind of formal option. Obviously you can play around with colors and fits as well of the suit and the Converse themselves. And finally, taking it straight back to even more casual than before, we have a tracksuit. I've gone with this kind of moss green tracksuit that I absolutely love. Um, but obviously you can wear any color tracksuit. It doesn't even have to be matching. Like you could wear gray sweats with like a black sweater or whatever and then wear your Converse on the bottom. I think for this one, I'm gonna go with the high tops again, but the black version. As I said before, though, it doesn't really matter. You can chop and change like which, whether you wear the highs or the lows. I think they're both very interchangeable. It just depends on like personal preference. This tracksuit outfit, I'm gonna pair it with the high tops, again with a backpack and a beanie because that's just my style, but you don't have to wear either of those things. Like you could do it with a crossbody bag, you could do it with a fanny pack, and you could do it with like a messenger bag and a cap. I think for my personal preference, as long as the tracksuit is kind of plain and minimal, sticking a really nice pair of Converse on the bottom is a huge compliment. But I think if the Converse are kind of like printed or if the tracksuit has a lot going on then it might be a bit too much paired together but I think if you keep the tracksuit itself simple and the converse themselves simple and the colors really complement each other in a way and I think it looks more effortless in that sense um, and more kind of refined um, so yeah that is my tracksuit look that was my four ways to style converse I hope you enjoyed this video let me know any video requests you have in the comments below don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video thank you for watching guys bye